Hello and welcome to another SDS C++ and OpenGL tutorial. In this tutorial I actually just want to show you two functions, the GL push matrix and the GL pop matrix. Uh, these are basically save the current transformation. For example, I if you use the GL translate F or GL rotate F or GL scale F, you sometimes don't want it for all of the object. For example, if I put another a call to this monkey head again, then the same transformation and the same rotation will be applied to that monkey head. But for example, you want to start from from zero every time you do something. In this case, you use the GL push matrix function, and the transformation is saved, f so it is just localized here and then you restore it, so GL pop matrix. Actually, now you uh, restore the identity matrix. So, you push the matrix, the current matrix, which is in this case the identity matrix, so you are at zero, zero position, and, uh, and you're looking down the negative z-axis. And in here, uh, you move 10 units, uh, so you move the object 10 units down the z-axis, then you rotate it on all direction and uh, you draw it. And now you save the current transformation, so you are again at 0, 0, 0 coordinate and looking down in the negative z-axis. So now I can draw something, so gl translate f, and for example I move it on the x-axis move it uh, 5 and 0 and make it minus uh, 8 in this case. Okay and then you just call the list uh, gl call list and uh, call the list cube. Actually that's what I call although it is a monkey head. Now if I save and compile the program and run it you see that one monkey head is there at ten uh, at neg uh, negative ten position on the x-axis as rotating, and the other monkey head is in five, so it is o uh, it cannot be really seen. So in here, and it is not rotating. That's because we set back everything. Maybe it will be a little hard to understand why do we use that. But, for example, you could use when you want to rotate something in different angle. So, let's do that. Uh, rotate the first, actually, a little bit place the first monkey head to minus 2 in here, and plus 2 in here, so we can see both monkey head. So, if I compile and run now, you can see both monkey head in theory. Yes, here they are. It's a little bit closer than this one, but we can see both. Okay, and then uh, you uh, rotate the other one too with the negative axis. So you use the GL rotate F with negative angle. So GL rotate F and negative angle, and you rotate in all direction as well. Okay, so now if I compile and run, as you can see, the monkey heads are rotating in the exact different uh, exact opposite direction so one is rotating in this way the other is rotating this way uh, and that is possible because we store the current transformation and then we transform something not matter what and then we draw the object and then we restore the transformation uh, this maybe can be a little hard to understand, but don't worry about that later. We will use this uh, transformation saving and restoring a lot. So then it will be probably more clear, but I just want to show you now. So basically that was all. Thank you for watching and have a great day.